Well, uh, as Hatchtech Incubation Technology, we, uh, we are part of the Hatchtech Group. Uh, what we do is we offer high performance solutions for, uh, for incubation and also for broader hatchery challenges. Uh, we have a really strong and pure focus on research and technology. Uh, yeah, that's a, a, certainly at the very core of our company's DNA and our company culture. Um, yeah, and we always perform that uh, in service of improving chick quality and, uh, and the bottom line performance for our customers. Um, yeah, we supply our high performance technology to all the leading poultry companies in the world. Um, yeah, and we apply innovation to turn modern hatchery challenges into opportunities basically for them uh, by using modern technology. Um, yeah, we materialize what research dictates us and translate that into uh, yeah, constructing what the modern day poultry uh, production needs. Uh, yeah, we, we, we try to uh, improve from, from, from broiler performance to, uh, to elevating welfare for the layer industry, everything in between. Uh, and from transporting uh, solutions for day old chicks to uh, specialized storing equipment, for example. Uh, yeah, for, the, for day old chicks and for our customers. Uh, the basic reason is actually because yeah, you can battle tomorrow's challenges with, uh, with yesterday's solutions. Uh, we are changing world uh, and, and where production efficiency and uh, certainly the responsible use of uh, resources are basically on top of everybody's agenda. Uh, and yeah, then in that context, to me, it's only logical uh, to choose technology that delivers efficiency improvements to your, uh, uh, to your poultry integration. Uh, whether it's flock performance or, or building our energy efficiency. Yeah. And then basically all of our products uh, stand on a very solid foundation of thousands of hours of research, which also means that we know exactly what a bird needs and develop equipment that, that fulfill this natural necessity of the bird perfectly. And yeah, in that way we try to not compromise in any way. Um, yeah, we, we believe that compromising on technology also means compromising on, on performance and results. Uh, and I truly think that we as a world cannot afford to deliberately choose to produce in a suboptimal way anymore. And certainly not today, but certainly also not in the decades still to come, where we have to be as efficient as possible and make uh, use of uh, our natural resources as efficient as possible. And I think certainly our, our hedge care that we are presenting at this show uh, in this time is a perfect example of that belief system. Uh, our hedge care early feeding and drinking technology has, has taken the world by storm in the past eight years. Um, it, it has disrupted poultry production standards globally. Um, and yeah, it, it, even if you're talking about the Canadian plains to the Australian out or, or the, the, the slopes of the Andes Mountains in Peru, up to the humid jungles here in Malaysia, here in Indonesia and in Malaysia. Um, yeah, regardless of the conditions, um, all the chicks produced in the system provide a predictive and sustainable bottom line improvement. Uh, in our case, of, of seven cents euro um, per bird produced, achieved by all these hatcheries worldwide. Uh, and I think if you have the choice to take your hatching egg and place it in a machine, then why not? use the most efficient way possible in, in, in production. And to me, this benefit is too big to ignore. Uh, yeah, we will have a very long lasting and, uh, and fruitful cooperation with uh, PT Unigro Alta Pesana uh, by Mr. Teddy Chandra, who has been on uh, our agent and distributor for the Indonesian market already for a very long time. Um, and of course, they are supported by myself and, and my colleagues from the Netherlands, uh, dedicated to this region, to Southeast Asia. Uh, yeah, we provide ourselves commercial presence, and, but also technological and biological support to all of our customers here in Indonesia. Um, yeah, and that, we do that uh, in, in partnership with uh, UAP in, here in, uh, in Jakarta based. Well, the message I would like to communicate is that the, the, the technology to, to improve your, your flock's performance um, basically is already at hand. It's not science fiction, but it's reality. It's, it, it's here. And, and more than 1 billion chicks all over the world uh, every year reap already the benefits of hedge care uh, and, and of our early feeding technology. Um, and that number is still increasing quickly. Uh, all of them are saving 4.8 points feed conversion um, and making a bottom line improvement of 7 euro cents per bird. Um, and in modern day production capacities, if you look at, at the average size hatchery, for example, here in Indonesia, 
This already translates into multi-million dollar savings um, per year for any average size company. And which, in my opinion, is basically free money because you use the same hatching eggs, you just choose for better performing machinery to, to incubate them. Um, so yeah, the question is, can you afford to waste this potential if the solution is really so simple uh, and it's, it's simply just putting your eggs in a different machine? Um, yeah, to me, the current global developments, also paired with, with the great volatility in, in commodity prices, for example, um, yeah, have seen quite a significant impact, certainly also here in Indonesia, on, on the production cost of poultry products. I mean, uh, let, let's say that roughly 70 to 80 percent of the cost of a broiler chick is determined by uh, the feed input. Um, so yeah, if you have the opportunity to do this in a much more efficient way, then I think uh, you have no, no choice to, uh, to at least seriously consider it. Um, yeah, choosing technology that allows you to reap this maximum potential out of every chick produced um, at least gives you the security insurance, so to say, to stay competitive and profitable for now, but also in the coming 20 to 30 years. Um, I mean, we cannot look into the future, but certainly the trend of uh, sustainable, more sustainable, more efficient production is something that can be de denied. And yeah, uh, I think I would like to end where, with a quote which is borrow, borrowed by the, uh, maybe the most say, famous scientist of all time, uh, who, who very famously said that we cannot solve uh, our problems uh, that we have today with the same thinking we used when we created them. So a change of mindset to, save to, to solve tomorrow's problems, uh, hopefully with, with, yeah, with, with a new solution.